welcome to the class we are beginning with a new video series on criminal procedure code in the series the first video is on prosecution so in this short video we are going to discuss what is prosecution and the role of prosecutor according to crpc or criminal procedure code okay so in this video we will discuss about role of prosecution in different types of courts in india such as the sessions courts magistrate courts and the high court okay let's see then yes section 24 301 321 of crpc these are the sections which deals with the concept and the idea of prosecution so basically in crpc the role of a prosecutor is when there is a cognizable offense is reported in a police station okay when the cognizable offense is reported and as per the procedure when it comes to the trial the role of the prosecutor begins okay so now the question is what is a cognizable offense i'll make another video on this question because this is a very important aspect of criminal procedure code but let me tell you a cognizable offense according to crpc is one which is there in the first schedule of the crpc crpc marks a dif- distinction between cognizable offenses and non cognizable offenses generally cognizable offenses are those offenses for which police can arrest the accused person without a warrant so it is clear that cognizable offenses are more serious offenses okay so when a cognizable offense when a cognizable offense is reported and that comes for the trial the role of the prosecutor begins okay now one thing we must understand that it is not the duty of the legal system to prove every accused person as a wrong doer it is not the part of the legal justice system to punish to to punish the accused person or to convict anyone what is the purpose in indian accusatorial system the purpose of the entire trial procedure is to see whether the accused person has done the offense which is charged against him so the role of the prosecutor is to help the judge by producing evidences by producing witnesses and by giving oral arguments that this person has done this offense okay the prosecution has no job to make any unlawful or wrongful conviction okay so the role is to help the judge in finding out the truth okay now in high courts a public prosecutor is appointed by the state but in order to be appointed as a public prosecutor he or she must have 7 years of standing experience of practicing in various courts okay not only that high court appoints a public prosecutor high court appoints a public prosecutor in cons- the state government appoints the public prosecutor in consultation with the high court okay that means the current or sitting judges of the high court will also have a say in deciding who's going to be the prop, who's going to be the public prosecutor okay now what about the sessions court sessions court at the district level we can say for serious offenses this will be the first trial court isn't it yes so here also public prosecutors are appointed by the state but in this appointment the district magistrate normally the collector of the district will have a say how how is it yes the collector makes a panel of advocates in consultation with the sessions judge and from this panel only state government appoints public prosecutors for the sessions court okay now comes section 25 talks about assistant public prosecutors these are prosecutors who are doing the same job but in the lower courts that is the chief judicial magistrate court or the magistrate courts of first class or second class 
So in such cases, wherever there is a cognizable offense, there is the role of the public prosecutor and public prosecutor helps the court in establishing the truth in that matter. But in magistrate courts, sometimes there are private complaints registered. As I told you, if the offense is not a cognizable one, then the police may not take an action. In, the, in such cases, the party who is affected by the wrongdoing will have to make a private complaint. Okay, If the trial is based on a private complaint, the complainant will have to appoint an advocate who is normally a private advocate, not a prosecutor. But at the same time, sometimes even though it, is, it has started as a private complaint, state will have certain interest in the case. In such cases, assistant public prosecutors can represent the case. Okay, so this is all about how public prosecutors and prosecution works in CRPC. Okay, so one thing needs to be clear why there is a public prosecutor or why there is a prosecutor in the first place. So the job of the prosecutor is to help the, is to help the court in finding out the truth. But the prosecutor is always representing the state. Now, why, why, this, why the state needs to be represented in all criminal cases? Yes, because in India, the system believes that a crime is not done against another individual, but a crime is done against the state. Any act of crime is a challenge to the authority of the state. And therefore, whenever there is a crime reported, it becomes the responsibility of the state to see to it that the accused person or the person who has done the offense is punished because that has to set an example to the public that if anybody challenges the state's authority, this is what is going to happen. Okay, and therefore state needs representation in all criminal cases and that is what a public prosecutor does. I hope it's clear to you. Today we discussed what is the role of a public prosecutor, appointment of public prosecutor and what is prosecution all about. Okay, if you have any doubts, suggestions, please make use of my comment box. I'll be happy to help. We'll come with more videos on CRPC. Keep watching.